question number 14. The height of a cone is 12 cm. A frustrum whose volume is a nave, the volume of the cone is cut off, determining the height of the frustrum. Okay, in form 2, you learned uh, similarities and enlargement. So before we do the question, let me demonstrate or use a diagram to explain this. So let's assume this is a cone. Uh, so that is a cone, the full cone. Uh, then we are told that uh, the height is uh, the height is 12 centimeters. So we can drop a height there. This is 12 centimeters. It was uh, uh, cut off. So a cone was cut off so that we are left with the with a with a with a with a, 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 a frustrum so let's say, let's say, say this is the same cone the same cone uh, and this is 12 uh, but now it has been cut off so this is uh, the volume of this this frustrum here this frustrum is a nade of uh, so we can say volume is equals to an eighth. Uh, volume is equals to seven over eight. So that's the volume. So we can now use the the knowledge, this knowledge here. Uh, so we let's just use this uh, the height of the small cone as h. Uh, now we have the volume of the full cone. So we can use there now. We know the volume scale factor. Uh, volume scale factor is equals to linear scale factor cubed you run that uh, so now if we say now we say that uh, the volume scale factor the, well, let's say the volume of uh, this cone is one that is full you divide by the volume of the small cone which is seven over eight of its volume is the same as uh, the height of the small big cone the full cone is 12 and you divide by the height of the small cone once we get the height of the the small cone then we will be able to get the height of the frustrum because we know the total height now we can say and this is a uh, actually cubed uh, because now we are using this volume scale factor uh, <coughs> let's correct that uh, volume scale factor so we start with the volume of the big cone which is one you divide by the volume of the small cone seven over eight is equals to the height of the big cone is 12 divided by the height and this one you get cubed so this we can say one divided by eight over seven is the same as one multiplied by eight over seven so we say eight over seven is equals to uh 12 over height cubed so we get the, the the cube root of both side that we multiply by a third or get the cube root of the both side so we say we get the cube root of 8 over 7 is equals to 12 over height so we can get h is equals to uh we, we multiply like that we say it is 12 cross multiply divide by the cube root of 7 8 over 7 not 7 but actually uh, 8 over 7 here yeah, you can use a calculator to to simplify that uh, what you do is uh, you say our height our height is equal to so you can you can uh, you can press 12 off, you divide by uh, you use the inverse as you know the inverse you get the cube root you can use a bracket and then you say 8 divide by 7 you close the bracket and that should give you that should give you uh, 11 11 11.4775871 so to two decimal places it is uh, 11.48 centimeter uh, that is two decimal places now we have the height which is here therefore we can say uh, if we can say that is our height the height of the first term is x x is equals to the full height minus 11.48 which you'll be able to get uh, 
uh, that you get uh, 0 0.52 uh, that is centimeter to two decimal places so that's how you work out that and you should be able to get three marks so the knowledge that you are being tested here is uh, where what you learned in similarity and enlargement you learned that uh, area scale factor is equal to linear scale factor squared a volume scale factor is equal to linear scale factor cubed uh, and then uh, linear scale factor is e is equal to uh, maybe the height of the Im the height of the image divided by the height of the object so that is what you should be able to uh, to, to get uh, uh, to remember that and then you'll be able to answer this question